The cold snap is also partly to blame for the propane gas shortage hitting Wisconsin, and it's impacting how people heat their homes. Fox 11's Bill Miston has more. As the wind howls off of Green Bay, whipping snow against the Welch home is extremely energy efficient. Inside really, really is much more agreeable and warm. I think I have enough fuel to get me through. Kim Welch heats her home with liquid propane, which is in short supply in Wisconsin due to the cold, a wet harvest season, and pipeline issues. Her supplier, Milton-based Milton Propane, delivered less than half of her order last week, even though she prepaid for a full tank. My point is, if you pre-bought this gas or ahead of time and you said, this is how much I want, then where's that gas now? And if you bought it then as a pre-buy price, why all of a sudden is it going to cost me a dollar or five something a gallon to have it delivered? Fox 11 reached out to Milton Propane and didn't hear back. But in a letter to customers on the company's website, President John Art explained the company is having to take drastic measures, one of them being filling accounts to 40 percent. The propane shortage has prompted a state of emergency. Extra money has been made available for those in need using propane to heat their homes and businesses. $24,000 went to Door County. Well, we serve about 1,200 clients a year and 20 percent is uh, all propane users. But with the prices of propane doubling, we're seeing a lot of a lot of those same clients coming back and asking for more crisis help. Gina Wadier says those in need of emergency energy need to be patient. We also have to get in touch with the propane providers and they're not always delivering in a timely fashion. One of those suppliers is the Door County Cooperative, which serves about 2,500 customers. Its president, Trent Allen, didn't want to go on camera with Fox 11, but says that the cooperative is doing all it can to satisfy customers' needs. But what Allen says is needed is warmer temperatures as supplies aren't likely to increase in the near future. In Sturgeon Bay, Bill Miston, Fox 11 News. Governor Scott Walker is scheduled to hold a meeting on the crisis tomorrow. There is more information for heating help on our website, fox11online.com.